So I think there's still some lifting to do. I mean, obviously the heavy lifting was Aaron Judge, but you need a left fielder. You want a left fielder, preferably that's left-handed, that can make contact, and Ben Benintendi fits that. Does he want to come back? We will find out. And I think the Yankees is still very much in on Carlos Rodon. So uh, if you could get Rodon and put him right behind Garrett Cole, it's a pretty good one-two punch. And then the rest of the, uh, the starting rotation works out to be excellent as well. An all-star um, would be a number three mm -hmm. in Nestor Cortez, and you hope that Frankie Montas comes back. So there's a lot of moving parts. I don't think they're done. Yeah, Rodon to me is interesting because it seems it could go one of two ways, right? It could be, well, we got to go big with a second player. We got to go all in because we're hearing possible six years for him. On the flip side, maybe it's kind of a wait and see game with him where it's like, well, we don't think anybody's going to give him six, although pitching is at a premium, it seems right now. So maybe we kind of wait and see if we can jump in there for four or five. The way the market has gone, though, so, I mean, our head should explode at six years, $30 million, but he's 30 years old. Um, so Verlander signed essentially through the age of 43. Uh, they gave uh, DeGrom a five-year deal at 35, and he can't stay healthy. So six years, 30 million, I don't think really jumps out at you. This is guy has had a lot of accomplishments. The last couple of years, he's been great. Uh, he's had shoulder surgery already. He's had Tommy John surgery already. So he's gone through that, uh, and those pitfalls of being a pitcher.